All right, so today we are going to order the following numbers from least to greatest. And as you can see, the problem is that we have a mixture of, uh, of different types of numbers. We have uh, a fraction, we have a decimal, and we have a percent. So we have three twentieths, we have 172 thousandths, and then we have 11 percent. So we need to make a decision as to whether we're going to turn all of them into fractions, are we going to tur turn all of them into decimals, or are we going to turn all of them in percents? Uh, so let's start off with one strategy at a time. All right, so the first strategy I'm going to use is to turn all three of the numbers into fractions. Uh, well, as you can see, the first one's already a fraction, so I didn't need to do anything to that one. Uh, if I say this one correctly, I hear the fraction, 172 thousandths. So there it is, 172 thousandths. Uh, and then 11%, uh, I hope you guys remember that uh, anytime we're talking about percentages, it is always over 100. So here we have 11%. All right. So uh, unfortunately, I cannot compare these numbers yet because the denominators are different. So uh, what I must do is uh, find that least common denominator, uh, which in this case happens to be a thousand. So all three of the denominators uh, can be uh, turned into a thousand. So let me show you that step next. So I left 172 thousandths as the fraction because that's the denominator, the common denom denominator we're going to be using. And in this section, I show you how I turned 20 into uh, a thousand and three uh, as well has to be multiplied by the same uh, number as 20. So uh, as always, we multiply the denominator and the, the, numer the numerator by the same number. On this side, I did the same thing. I had to turn the denominator 100 into 1,000, and the only way I can do that is by multiplying by 10. So therefore, I multiply the denominator and the numerator by 10. Well, here are my conversions, and as you can see, uh, now I turn 3 twentieths into thousandths, and that turns out to be 150 thousandths. 172 thousandths, I didn't need to do much to it. And here is our percentage in thousandths as well. So it would turn out to be 110 thousandths. So now I can see the order that 11% uh, is actually smaller than any of these other numbers. So 11% should come first. 3 twentieths should come second and 172 thousandths should be last. And there is my final answer. All right, so we are ordering the following numbers from least to greatest. So again, we have 3 twentieths, we have 172 thousandths, and 11 percent. So this time what I'm going to do is I am going, going to turn all of the numbers into decimals. Well, 172 thousandths is already in decimal form. Uh, so what I have to do is turn these two other numbers into decimals, but I'm going to go through three decimal places this time. So I show you the work here where I divide 20 into 3 to turn uh, 3 twentieths into a decimal. So here's my work for that. Uh, 3 doesn't go, I'm sorry, 20 does not go into 3, so therefore I put 0. Uh, I add a decimal, and again, this time I added three zeros because I'm going three decimal places. So here's the rest of my work for that, and as you can see, I wind up with 150 thousandths. In this section, I had to do a little bit uh, more. I had to turn 11% into a fraction first, and then I did the same process. I divided the numerator into, sorry, the denominator into the numerator, and uh, here's the process for that uh, answer. I divided 100 into 11. Since it couldn't go into 11, I added a decimal uh, and three zeros, again, because I'm going three decimal places. So here's the rest of my work for that uh, process. And so as you can see then, 
320 uh, turns into 150 thousandths. We left the uh, 172 thousandths the same. And 11% turns into 110 thousandths. So as you can see now, the order is really 11% is the smallest number. 3 twentieths is the next one. And 172 thousandths is the largest number. So therefore, here are those numbers in order. All right, so again, we are ordering the following numbers from least to greatest. And this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn all of them into percents. Uh, so I've shown you some of the work before to turn these into percents because the first thing I have to do, actually, is turn them into uh, fractions over 100. So remember, any time we're dealing with percent, it is always something over 100. So I need to place all three of them over 100, uh, but there's a little trick to uh, 3 twentieths because it's a fraction. So I'm going to show you guys that work in the next step. So with all the other numbers, all I did was place them over 100. 11% is 11 over 100. 172 thousandths, I actually just turned, uh, took away one of the zeros and said uh, 172 over 100. And then I showed you the process here that 3 twentieths, we actually had to find uh, the equivalent fraction to 3 twentieths. And that equivalent fraction would be 15 hundredths. So now it's uh, pretty easy to turn them into percents because once we have them over 100, all we say is the, the number as percent. So that's 15%, 72%, and 11%. So here are those uh, numbers. As you can see, again, 11% uh, would be our smallest number, 15% would be the next, and then 172 would be our last number. And here are the numbers now in order from least to greatest in percent form.